Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is IDCL once again with yet another commentary for Call of Duty Black Ops. This time, we're on grid playing Domination. And uh, first off, I'm going to kick this off by saying that I'm officially back doing commentaries for good. Because I got everything I need now. Nothing's missing. I got the DVR. I got the, uh, of course, the Xbox. got the top games. And I got top performance computer. And on top of that, I just picked up uh, the new Turtle Beach X12 headsets. And I got to say, this headset is outstanding on both PC and Xbox. Officially, I mean, it, it's everything about it is good. It got bass. It got a, a chat box. It lets you hear yourself talk. So you won't sound like an idiot, you know. You know how you, you sound over to other people over life. But it got all that good shit. And one thing I noticed is that the microphone is outstanding. That's really, honestly, that's the main reason why I bought it. Because the mic for commentary. The, to me, the online gaming with the, the volume of the game and all that, that's, a, that's just a plus. But the mic, I've noticed, I've seen commentators like D-Man UNT 2014, shout out to him. I've seen commentators like that with... Uh, he says he has the X11s, and the X11s were the last outstanding headset. I think these are probably done took that over by now. He has the X11, and his quality of his microphone is outstanding. It's good. So I went out, looked online, saw some new Turtle Beaches, the X12s. Bam, went on and got it. Got them now, and they they just this awesome. They're good, man. Went online. And uh, seen people test them. Everybody gave them positive reviews. So then I went to GameStop, which was, this all happened yesterday. At the GameStop, as I was picking up Gears 3, and I gotta say that's a good ass game. I'm talk about that a little later. But I was picking up Gears 3, and then I picked up the Turtle Beaches. And I was like, man, I might as well just grab them now. Now they're not cheap, but they're not. I wouldn't call them expensive neither, because I hadn't seen higher shit like Tritons. They're just outrageously priced. They're good too, but I wouldn't pay that much for them. But they were marked, the Turtle Beach X12s were marked at 60 bucks, 59.99, whatever you want to call it. Marked at 60 bucks. And I had it then. So I was getting Gears 3. I was like, man, I might as well get the fullest experience out of this game. And then I'll have my commentary uh, voice quality would be good too. Might as well just get it out the way. So bam, I went on and got it. Now, got home. More than I even expected, even at being 60 bucks, which is not cheap, it, it was more than I expected. I mean, the bass, I'm so glad that they added the, what is it called, the boost bass to it. That makes it, it's just outstanding sound to it. I love it. I can't, I don't even care if my TV has volume on while I'm playing. I'm just, I got these headsets on and it's just like, bam, I'm in it. Boom, boom. You can hear footsteps everywhere. Everywhere. I tried it on Call of Duty. Works perfect. Gears of War, perfect. 2K11. Everything is just crisp and it sounds excellent. Another thing I like is that it has a microphone feedback, which lets you hear yourself. Like right now, as I'm commentating right now, I can hear myself, like what I'm saying, at the same time as me speaking it. Which is very good because it lets you know how high you're talking, whether you should lower your voice or not, or how moderate you're talking, which is a plus. Major plus. Okay, on yesterday I got Gears 3 2. And I have to say, I've been playing this game for the past, what, 24 hours? And I have to say, this game is outstanding. I love it. I love it. It kills Gears 2, kills Gears 1, even though it's supposed to. But they've added so much good shit to it, more characters to choose from. But. Uh, the guns are more balanced. It's it's an outstanding game, I have to say. And uh, I haven't beat the campaign yet, but as far as I'm going through it, it's it's good, man. It's not as short as Gears 2 was, because Gears 2 had a short ass campaign. Multiplayer is good. The servers are working well. I've run into a couple of problems, but you know, like every other game, they're gonna patch that. But the servers are working well. They're dedicated now. It's it's just all around great game. 
great gaming experience. If you haven't played Gears yet and you want to get into it, get Gears 3 immediately. I have to say, it's a good game. But, um, it's just fun. It's just real fun. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm going to pick up NBA 2K12 tomorrow when it releases. Mind you, that today is October 3rd. And 2K12 launches out October 4th, so I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. And the fact in that game is that it, it looks amazing, too. And IGN gave it an outstanding score. I know people always complain about IGN. Man, IGN, they always put out, they always give major companies good scores, like Call of Duty and all that. But this game, I honestly think, yeah, this is the truth. Because they said 9.5 last year for 2K11, and it ended up being like a 10 to me almost, 9.9. .9 because online was just, it was bad. And then here come 2K12 again. I expect nothing less from that. And IGN is saying it's way better than 2K11, which was already named the best basketball game of all time. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. I can't wait. Tr played the demo, of course. Knowing 2K, the demo's always going to be shit. Yeah, it was, the demo was terrible, but it lets you know the new features and what's going on. And when the real game launches, I can already tell it's going to be amazing. But uh, back to Gears 3, I was on uh, YouTube, just checking out the videos and seeing what people were saying about Gears 3. Roughly everybody likes it, but there's always that, that little group that always has to slam it, talk shit. Same group you find in Call of Duty, same group you find in Battlefield, same group you find in, in other shit like 2K and, and WWE and all that. Always slamming it for the littlest things. Now they're mad now because all the guns are balanced. Because they took away as much power as the Nasher shotgun had in Gears 2 and Gears 1. They took away some of that power and put in some more power on the assault rifles. Now, mind you, I guess people just have gotten used to shoddy battles, but I was getting tired of that shit. Every war zone or execution match, somebody's trying to run up on me and gun me. It's, it was no longer an assault rifle game. It, it, it just turned into a straight shoddy battle. It might as well have titled it that. I was getting tired of that. And a lot of other people were too. I'm glad. I'm glad that they balance this game out. It makes it more versatile. You don't have to just use your shotgun. And then other people complaining about the shot off. How uh, you a noob if you use that. Man, I use that shit and I've been playing gear since the first one. And, and it comes in handy, believe me. Close quarter maps. Use that shot off. F anybody else says. But the Nasher, the Nasher is outstanding. It's it's less powerful, but it's more realistic. I mean, come on. Well, I ain't gonna say realistic because none of that game is realistic. It's all fun. But I'm not gonna knock anything they did with the weapon system. Now the dedicated service is excellent. I had a few bugs, but it's still good. The only, the only other complaint I would really would have about Gears 3 is the fact that I've played a lot of matches where it's the majority of, of bots and shit. Bots, bots this, bots that. Like, I, I was on a team full of bots and playing a team that had full humans. And, that, and it wasn't just one game, it was a lot. But still, those bots are beasts. That's it. I know you guys are like, man, this dude playing Black Ops, but he's talking about Gears. <laughs> But this turns into my next subject, which is uh, last my last commentary. I talked about Call of Duty versus Battlefield, the uh, cons and pros, pluses and minuses. Now, I, I, I'm going to admit right now that I was wrong on a couple of things that I said. Now, I said Battlefield 3's or Battlefield period multiplayer is better than Call of Duty. I can't honestly say that. I can't say either one is better. Mainly because Battlefield, the reason why I said that is because Battlefield has way better hit detection than Call of Duty does. Way better. If you want to argue with that, you're a fool because Battlefield does have better hit detection. Come on, you get hit coming from around the corner on Black Ops and on Warfare 2. That's annoying. That's, that's stupid. But the finer one is uh, Call of Duty because Call of Duty... I mean, come on, just look at the gameplay. It's a fun game. It's frustrating at times, but it's fun. Now, 
playing it, I don't know how I got killed there when he was looking in a whole other direction. That's another flaw that Call of Duty has. But playing Battlefield, you know, you're not going to run through that game and just shoot like you do in Call of Duty. You're going to have to think like real military tactics. Don't be stupid and play a game like that. Look, connection interruption at the end of the match. Now, I went back in and tried to see if they still tallied my score or counted it. No, they did not. That's another thing I hate about Call of Duty. Of course, the next one's supposed to have dedicated servers along with uh, Battlefield 3, but man, if anything, please fix that shit because I hate having a good game and then it don't mean nothing. But this one, especially, it was cool because I had it recorded. So, man, I need to change that logo. Look ugly. But anyway, Battlefield and Modern Warfare. This is one of those games that you're going to have to wait to see what happens. Experience it for yourself before you can decide who's better. But that's all I have to say for this video. Got, got my new stuff. This is IDCL. And I'm out. Grab them turtle beaches. Grab Gears of War 3. 2K12 out tomorrow. Peace.